everybody welcome to the takeout diet today I am extra excited because we'll be making something that has not even come out yet the Taco Bell Dorito Locos Taco Cool Ranch Edition and tomorrow we'll be making the regular Dorito Locos Tacos because we haven't made that yet either and it's just gonna be so fun here we go I'm gonna start this recipe by placing one head worth of cauliflower florets into a food processor along with two to three cloves of garlic you may want to go with two or just one clove but I love of garlic so we're gonna put in three blend it until it has reached like a fine consistency but you don't want it to be mush and then put in your chopped walnuts I have chopped walnuts if you have whole or half walnuts put them in with the cauliflower to begin with but since mine were already chopped straight from the store I put them in at the end just to mix it all together put all of your cauliflower mixture into a large bowl and now we're going to season it I'm going to add olive oil soy sauce liquid smoke salt and Mexican taco seasoning I have this Mrs. Dash Southwest Chipotle seasoning blend stir all up until it is well mixed together what you don't want is big clumps of white cauliflower that hasn't been seasoned so start until you see no more clumps of white preheat your oven to 350 degrees and then spray a baking sheet with non-stick baking spray spread out your cauliflower mixture all season and mix together and bake it for 45 minutes to an hour Every 15 minutes you want to come back and stir it all together and redistribute it because you want to get the wet part from the bottom up to the top. When it is done it should all be brown and separating and just you know it should look like ground beef. <laughs> Next we're going to make our nacho cheese sauce. To a saucepan we're going to add in unsweetened almond milk, nutritional yeast, the juice of half of a lemon, cornstarch, tahini, garlic powder, onion powder, some more of that taco seasoning, and salt. Whisk it all together until it is smooth and well combined. You don't want any lumps. Who wants lumpy cheese? Then bring it to a boil. Once it is boiled, let it simmer until everything is thick. Our last step is to make our beautiful Doritos Cool Ranch shell. Am I the only one growing up called them Cooler Ranch? Where did that come from? I thought my whole life that they were called Cooler Ranch Doritos until I looked at the bag and saw no. I was wrong and ignorant. So first we're gonna make our seasoning blend. I have parsley, dill, chives, garlic powder, onion powder, salt, black pepper, and at the last minute I thought it needed something else so I added some nutritional yeast. Our last step is to lay out our corn tortillas and brush them in olive oil. Dust them with our seasoning blend on one side. I did on both sides but that turned out to be a mistake. Don't do that. Then we're going to lay them over our baking rack. If you just lay it over one stem in the baking rack, it'll split like this. So lay it over two with the seasoning side up because that's going to be on the outside. Push it into your oven and bake these for 10 to 12 minutes. They should be hard and crunchy when they're done, but don't overdo them. So 10 minutes should be enough. And we're going to stuff them. We have our ground beef, some sour cream. I use Tofuti brand, lettuce, some Roma tomatoes, dice, and our nacho cheese sauce. Now let's give these a taste. The first thing that came to my mind when I tasted this masterpiece was this is like flavor town USA I think Guy Vieri or whatever I think he says that but it was so flavorful it was like ranch this and sour cream and cheese and taco and it was so good like it was unbelievable I ate the whole entire thing like it was so good it's the best thing my mouth has tasted in at least a year like it's been a while since my taste buds have salivated and like praised and glorified something that awesome it was so awesome like i'm shaking i'm ready to eat the other two so i am about to go <laughs> thank you so much for watching today if you haven't subscribed to my new channel please subscribe i post every day about dining food and takeout food and drive through food and maybe packaged food coming soon i'm not sure but we'll see in a couple of days hint <laughs> hint if you have any suggestions please leave in the comments below and i will see you guys tomorrow also, if you make this, leave a video response. Bye. <laughs>